It's week four of the NFL, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Commanders and the Eagles, next on Madden Football. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a great one here as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the defending NFC champs, the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. But meanwhile, for the visiting commander, Touchback. The commander's set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. Howell got the nod for commander's leadership to be the team starter this year. A nice bump for last year's fifth round pick. One start as a rookie and didn't look bad at all winning the team's finale. And let's not forget, this is a guy who was once viewed as a first round pick. So there's plenty of promise hidden beneath the surface. Zach Cunningham rolling in to get the sack. So much for coming out throwing as it leads to an early second down and long. And yeah, Howell will throw it. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Terrell Edmonds comes flying in from safety for the sack. A miserable start here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and very long. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Safe completion on third. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. I like this guy. And the reason I do, he tends to stand an even keel. Doesn't want too much ruffling. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week, but he found a way for his team to win. From the 43, here's a second and nine. One yard game. Throwing his hurts, steps away. And shooting the tackle, and that's the room. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. On first down, Hurts rolling to his left. And he's back down, but he has it down to the 12. And he picked up the 12. First and 10. Hurts out to his left. He stiff arms him. It's so close, he gets it to the one. side here in this first quarter. Swift will take this one in for an Eagles touchdown. Sometimes offense if you get too cute down here the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, 
said, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the whole hard. And finish it. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Powell throwing on first down here. Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Powell, he'll look to throw it. Under pressure, they got him again. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through the drop of the running yard loss. Back-to-back sacks at this place in a frenzy as they line up again third and long now. Being chased out left. And he wisely will throw that one away. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and ten on the short side of the field. First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. A second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's taken down the ball before reaching the ten yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They go play action with Hurts on the move to his left. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. And the ball situated at the 9. Second and goal. Play action. Here's Hurts. Steps away to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Three tight ends up front here. Third and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. Steps away. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. And a Washington offense heading out. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. The defense, they get to Howell. will go down here. Sacks are going theme in this. 
this first half. This is second and long. Bill Bison. And he's going to go down again. It'll be a loss of five yards as safety blitz winds up paying off. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. The final second ticks by, it, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. All right, folks eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. So here are the Eagles to take over. They were winners a week ago over the Bucks. They lead here as well as they come up on first down. Flushed out right. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Hurt sets up to throw it. Pass taken in by his good tight end. Should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Everett is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they're able to build on things here with a field goal. But you know, the question is how much longer can they really rely on their defense to pitch a shutout? That's a great question because you know the guys on the other side right are saying, give us the ball. We want another shot at this. So, yes, tight game, you'll take the three. But this game, it's far from over. And he'll just take a seat in the drive where we get at the 25-yard line. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Powell and the Commanders come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now the second-year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robertson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Robinson with another carry. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the hole and run off a bunch more plays. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's Washington with the football, but trailing here as we begin quarter number four. From the gun on third down, Howell. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Howell. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter, maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg still there. This is and now off to the races, down the right side. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. All three timeouts, plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Now Hal. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively, and second down. Give up 
the middle to Gibson. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Here's Hal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Boy, this crowd is on pins and needles now because anytime you see the ball heading for the end zone, you really hold your breath and they come out of their seats. That one falls incomplete. Looks like he'll throw here. Buying time to his left. He's going deep for Brown. And got his man complete. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On oh, first and ten, it hurts. Oh, and that is incomplete. Oh, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No is suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. They got the win last week despite not having any interceptions. Tried to come up with one there, could not. But there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important, too. And they got one. Yeah, there's no... And this has come. Touchdown. A.J. Brown, his fourth touchdown of the year. And the Eagles have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. So that drive span five plays. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And they'll begin at the 25. The look at Washington as they come onto the field. Probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the right hand a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew it was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Powell. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this will be scooped up in the end zone. The defender gets there, and it's a touchdown. That kind of puts the ball on what has been a complete performance, Charles. They're pitching a shutout on the other side in this offense. They've done their thing well, too. Yeah, this game has been all-out effort from them on every snap, and there's a good amount of pride on the line right now. They want to finish what they started. They want the shutout preserved. Elliott on for the extra point. And that stretches the lead to 27. The scoop and score, always an exciting play of football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground, and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And that is still picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Here's Hal to throw on second down. He's going to let it fly. That's going to be knocked 
knocked away and incomplete. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Now a second and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And they're going to score again. Yeah, another touchdown as they just had to their totals. Elliott now to have the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. And the Washington offense set to take over again. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened now. Yeah, use that as ammo. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may be up with this team again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. Back to throw. Howell. On the catch, it's Crowder. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Hal throwing it on third down here. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Hassan Reddick. And the Eagles are going to get it back here just past the 35. They've got good starting field position as they come up here. First and 10 at their 36-yard line. Man on the left side is Brown. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. just seem to sleep. So for the Eagles, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for the Commanders, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears.